Hello everyone, this is Miss Kay from teacherblogspot.com. I'm here today to tell you how to set up an I Know It account and how to set up assignments for the students in your classes. So, first of all, you are going to log in and so you just click log in. Now, if you don't have an account yet, you go over here and click new account. I already have an account. So I'm going to use that and log in. So the first thing you do if you want to set up classes is you go here to where it says my students and create a class right there. Pretty simple. So I'm going to call my class Miss K1. And here's my class, but my class has no students in it. So I'm going to go over here where it says add student. Pretty easy. And I'm just going to make up some names like Josh Jones. And I'm going to make all my usernames the same. The first name plus one, two, three, four after them, just for the purpose of showing you how to do this. And I'm going to make my password one two three four for all of my students and I'm going to choose third grade I don't know if you can hear the dog barking next door and my dog is answering he's a big rat. My neighbor's dog is a big Rottweiler. Oh. So, my student ID, I'm going to make it Josh1234. I'm just going to keep it the same as the username. I'm skipping parent email. And I'm going to assign that to the only class I have. So, then I'm going to click Add Student. And if you look down here, you can see, there we have it. Josh Jones, student ID, username, password, grade level. Now later when you learn how to make assignments, you can check here and see the progress that they've made on the assignments you've given them. And you can edit the information. Let's say I spelled a child's name wrong. I can go in and edit it. Or I can come over here and completely delete the student. Let's say they moved off into another school. I can completely take them out. So I'm gonna add another student. Now, if you have an advanced student, you can always come here and give them something larger than third grade. You can give them fourth or fifth grade. I used to teach third grade, so I'm going to stick with that. Student ID, I'm going to keep it the same as the username. and add student and you can see again it puts my other students here and it will just keep adding them on there now you can use up to 25 students to do this um, you can make a class of up to 25 students so now that you've seen how you can create your class and add students I'm going to go to um, assign assign something to their class so go under assignments. Now, if you forgot, or if it doesn't make sense, you're not sure how to assign something, you always have all these directions here to show you exactly how to do it. So I am going to go up here to third grade. I'm gonna click third grade. Now, just because of the fact that I already put my students in third grade, it already gave them an option to work on all the assignments. I don't have to do what I'm about to do uh, because they already have some assignments in there they can work on. But I'm going to give them something specific to the students. So let's say I wanted to assign Josh um, fraction shapes because maybe he didn't do so well on a test that we just took. I can come over here and I can go to some students and look, I can give Josh fraction shapes lesson and here 
or I could have clicked all students and it would have given all the students that lesson. Um, and then I have some options here. I can do that for a certain date range. Let's say I want them to work on that for just this week. I could assign it just until that week or I'm going to leave the default in there just until they've completed the lesson. And then here I can do this, complete a certain number of problems. So I'm, act, I'm gonna show you what's in here. Um, you can complete a certain number of problems or work for a certain amount of time. So I'm just going to leave it, complete a certain number of problems. Now here, I'm just going to give him 15 problems because that's the default, but I can come in here and look, I can go all the way up and assign this child 100 problems if he needs that much practice. So, but I'm going to leave it at 15 and I'm gonna click assign now. So, I am going to close this window. Now let's say I wanted to give Jenny a different lesson. Let's say Jenny is struggling with learning how to do time. I could come here and click that and I could assign Jenny something about time. So I'm just gonna give Jenny lessons on time until she's completed it, a certain number of problems, 15, assign now, okay? Now I also can do this. I could, let's say I wanted to give all of my students some multiplication and division practice. I can give them multiplication and division practice up to tens. I want all of my students to work on that until they've completed it. And let's say I wanna give them more problems in 15. I want them to do 30 and I'm going to assign that now. So now I'm going to log out of this and go to um, a student's account so you can actually see what the children are seeing. So I'm gonna go in here and log in as um, Jenny, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four is the password. And I'm going to click log in. So as you can see, these are the two assignments that Jenny has that she has got to work on. Um, and then it, it, it says down here, until it's completed. Same thing here, it's due until it's completed. Now, if you look down past what I've actually assigned Jenny, I go down here, you can see all of the third grade concepts, all of them. So let's say you go to the computer lab for 30 minutes and Jenny says, I'm done. Well. If she's done, she if you want them to work on I know it for 30 minutes, then even though she finishes these two, she still has all these other things that she can work on. She doesn't have to just say, I'm done with these two lessons that you gave her. So that is how you make assignments and create classes in I know it. And don't forget that um, I know it is free until August, 2018. So you can try it absolutely free, which will be great if you try it before um, summertime hits because you know your kids may be tired with whatever it is they've been working on. This will add a little novelty into what you may have been having them work on during computer time. Okay guys, thanks for watching this short tutorial video about iknowit.com from Miss K at teacherblogspot.com.